Welcome back to another episode of Henry TV. I am your host, 22 Plinkster, and in my hands I have the long-anticipated Henry Long Ranger chambered in 223 and 556. Now we're going to be doing some accuracy testing with this rifle at 100 yards shooting different kinds of ammo, but before we get into that, I want to go over a few basics on this rifle. This rifle is sporting walnut forend stock and a butt stock, and it has really good aggressive checkering on both to help you get a good purchase on the rifle. On top here, I'm using a Trigicon 2.5 by 10 by 56 AccuPoint, and like the Henry rifle, the Trigicon is also made in the US of A. This rifle weighs seven pounds without an optic, and the twist rate of the barrel is one in 10. The Henry Long Ranger chambered in the 223556 holds five rounds in a detachable box magazine, unlike the 243 and the 308, which both hold four rounds. Before we head to the 100 yard range, let's do some shooting at 50 yards. Well, a six inch plate at 50 yards, it's pretty easy. Now, let's go to the bench and shoot this rifle at 100 yards. The question that is on everyone's mind, how accurate is this 556-223 Henry Long Ranger? Now, I've got some 223 50 grain American Eagle varmint tip rounds. Now, let's see if this rifle likes a lighter bullet. Shooting at 100 yards. Okay, we are going for groups here, not bullseye, people. <laughs> Forgot to mention that first. That is about an inch group at 100 yards. So I can go ahead and tell you, it likes the light stuff. Now I'm gonna try a little bit heavier ammo, probably some 62 grain, and just see how well the 62 grain shoots out of the Henry Long Ranger. All right, now I'm loading up some 62 grain Federal Fusions. This particular ammo is used uh, for medium-sized games such as boar and also white-tail deer. So let's see how well this ammunition groups. It's probably going to group a little bit different since it is a 12 grain, it is 12 grains heavier. It didn't miss it by much from the other ones. It's just right below them. Okay, that one was about an inch beside it. And that one was touching, almost touching the other one. So I'm looking at about, about an inch group on the other one. So if you're shooting a 50 grain varmint tip bullet, or if you're shooting something heavier like a 62 grain bullet for uh, you know, hunting purposes such as whitetail deer or boar, this rifle will do the job. Now I'm just curious how well this rifle will shoot the cream of the crop. I'm loading some 69 grain Federal Gold Metal Match. Uh, if you're familiar with the Gold Metal Match, it's in my opinion, it's the most accurate factory ammunition that you can possibly get. Uh, the only way that you're going to get a more accurate round is pretty much load it yourself. Now, this is a heavier bullet. I don't know if this rifle is designed to shoot this heavy of a bullet, but we're going to find out. I'm going to aim same spot. Let's see if it prints somewhere different.
Okay, that was right in the bull's eye. Good group so far. Ladies and gentlemen, from looking from here, that looks like about a half inch group. My first group, these top three, uh, that was with the 50 grain Federal uh, varmint rounds and it shot pretty good. That's about an inch group at 100 yards. These three right here uh, was with the 62 grain Federal Fusion and that's amazing. That is a really good group. That's about an inch group with hunting ammo. Uh, you can't really ask for any better than that. These last three, the Federal Gold Medal Match, it did a number. Um, I'm, that's a half inch group at 100 yards. You know, some people would spend two, three thousand dollars for a bolt action rifle that shoots this well. Henry really did a good job building the Long Ranger and I have put many, many rounds through this rifle and also the 308 and it has always been very, very good and reliable and accurate. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Henry TV and just remember, if it's not made in America, it's not going to be made at all.